excited about today because we're bringing back an old favorite, our Did You Know series, where we cover little known but powerful features throughout Pipeline. Today's webinar is part one of our Revived for 2023 Did You Know series. Today's topic is all about messages, specifically things we find people don't know or often miss related to sending and receiving messages in Pipeline. First, we'll talk about things you might not know about sending messages from Pipeline. And I can't talk about sending messages from Pipeline without at least mentioning message templates. If you catch our Pipeline pros often, you likely already know all about them. But one of the biggest, if not the biggest, time saver in Pipeline is message templates. Message templates are reusable messages. They allow you to save and reuse messages you frequently send from transactions. So. They're super powerful, especially with autofill tags. Autofill tags allow you to automatically insert specific information from the transaction into your message. This way, you're creating a super personalized, super custom to the transaction message that you're able to send out in just a couple of clicks without any typing at all. Let's take a look at that real quick. So when you're sending a note or email from a transaction, if you set up message templates, you have the option to choose a saved message template here. You'll see message templates you've created as well as message templates that others may have shared with you. Let's look at this intro to seller email template as an example. So as you can see here, I've already added a couple autofill tags, one for the seller's first name and one for the listing date. So when I send this message out automatically, the seller's first name and the listing date of the transaction is going to be added without any typing at all. I was just able to apply my intro to seller email in two clicks there. Then in a third click, I can add my seller as a recipient to the message. And then in four clicks, I can send that email out with no typing at all whatsoever. So I won't go into them too deeply today. We do have plans for a future Pipeline Pro webinar all about message templates and autofill tags. So stay tuned to that. But if you want to get started with them today, it's very easy. Once you've set up an email on the transaction, say you think I might have the need to send this later, go ahead and add your autofill tags. You can add autofill tags by clicking the add autofill tag option in the upper right corner and then just start typing for whatever it is you want to enter. So let's say we're entering the listing date as it was. Now I've automatically got my listing date here. And then you can click this option to save the message as a reusable template and then just name the template. So we'll call this intro to seller. I'm going to add a number two out to the side since I've already got that set up and then just send it. And there like that, you've sent a message as well as save one so that you can send it out later. Once you've set up message templates, you can uh, make changes to them from your personal profile. Just click your name in the upper right and then personal profile there. On the left menu, you'll see email templates. From here, you can add new email templates or change like changes to existing ones. When you're editing a template, you also have the option to share it with everyone or share it with other admins if you'd like to. So highly recommend setting up message templates. They're super useful and make sending messages really quick, really easy. Check out that webinar coming up. But besides message templates and autofill tags, Pipeline offers a few helpers to make sending emails from the transaction super quick and easy. So on a transaction here, the first area I'd like to talk about is dragging and dropping. Pipeline is really drag and drop friendly. Dragging and dropping information on the transaction allows you to enter information you've already entered on the transaction without having to type it again. It saves you time and ensures accuracy when you're sharing information. So there's a couple different areas that you can drag and drop into messages. The first is checklists. If you click a checklist name here and then drag it over to the message, you'll see the checklist is added to your message, nicely formatted, including whether or not the task has been completed, its due date, if it hasn't been completed, and who checked it, when it was checked, if it has been completed. So it's nicely formatted automatically there with no typing on your end. Similarly, you can do the same thing with tasks. If you just wanna share an individual task, you can click the task name, and drag it over to the message. 
You can do the same with completed tasks if you want. And when you send that message out, they'll be formatted similarly to how they are when you share the full checklist. So that makes sharing checklists and tasks with others really easy from Pipeline. My favorite uh, drag and drop feature on the transaction is contacts. Dragging and dropping contacts gives you sort of two outcomes. The first is you can drag a contact from the contacts area to the external email address field here. That gives you the ability to quickly send a message to that person without having to type out their name every time. Also, you can drag and drop the contacts into the message body to share their contact details with someone else. And you'll see it's nicely formatted there with the contact's name and any other details you've added for them. You also have the ability to drag and drop doc comments. So say you want to let an agent know that there's a few changes that need to be made for their docs. You can just click on the doc comment that was made and drag it into your message. And when you send that message out, the doc comment will be nicely formatted with the comments, with the comment here, along with the doc's name, who made the comment and when they made it. So you can get that out pretty quickly without having to type it again. Also, I'm sure you know you have the ability to attach documents to messages just by clicking the document's name to the left of the message, of, of the document rather. You also have the ability to send all docs by clicking this top document, this top box above the documents. But did you know that you can quickly send all docs or quickly attach all docs in a specific permission category by just holding down the shift key and clicking inside any of the boxes for the documents within that category? So let's say I wanna attach all of the sale docs to a message. I can hold down the shift key and click this pre-approval letter. If I want to un unselect those docs, I can do the same thing. Just hold down shift and click inside any of the boxes here. So say you want to send out all sale docs and buyer docs to a buyer. In just two clicks, you can hold down the shift key, click one of these sale docs, keep holding down the shift key and click one of these buyer docs. And now in just two clicks, you can attach all the sale docs and buyer docs for the buyer and then send it out. Also, you may want to just send a particular page within a doc, not the entire doc, but just a single page or a few pages from a doc. I know you already know about Pipeline's break apart feature, but have you ever thought about how you can use Pipeline's break apart feature just to extract certain pages from a doc? Let's use this listing agreement as an example. If you click the gear icon to the right of the doc and then break it apart, Again, you could extract just a few pages or only a single page. We'll use just a one page doc here. So I'll select page 11 as the starting page and page 11 as the end page. This is going to extract just page 11 from the doc. And then I'll give it a name, say listing agreement page 11, and then break it apart. So now once this is done, I'll have this page 11 extracted from the rest of my listing agreement and I can send only that doc out in a message just by going back to the note email area and attaching page 11 only here. So that gives you a really good way to send out you know, custom pages from docs if you don't wanna send out the full doc to someone. When you send a message out from Pipeline, there's a couple different options for the appearance of emails that you send. By default, Emails sent from Pipeline are fully styled and look like this. This is the example of a fully styled message sent to an external recipient. Likewise, this is the example of a fully styled email sent to an internal recipient. It does look a bit different. You have the quick link to the transaction since they're internal users. But recently, Pipeline added an additional feature allowing the option to select minimally styled emails to be sent. Minimally styled emails look like this. We got lots of feedback from many of you that you'd prefer a more plain looking, more organic looking message. And that's where these minimally styled messages came from. Those were great requests that we got from all of you. So this is what your minimally styled email looks like to an external recipient. This is what a minimally styled email looks like to an internal recipient. And if you want to turn these on, you can do that by clicking your name in the upper right 
and then admin settings. From the email settings area, just check the box next to use minimal formatting for messages sent from transactions here, and then save your settings down below. Once you do that, your messages will go out looking more like this, more minimally styled. So now let's talk about receiving messages. Once you start receiving emails in Pipeline, there are various ways to track down those messages. To stay on top of messages received, the best way is to search transactions by email received. Let's say you want to find emails received this week. So from the search area, choose a date type of email received, and then select the option for this week here. Then when you search, you'll see a full list of transactions with emails that were sent this week. So you can quickly access any transactions that you need to check those emails for. If you need to stay on top of this regularly, you can add a shortcut for emails this week. Just click add shortcut here at the top, choose an icon and then name your search. So we'll say emails this week. Once you've done that, just click save search. And you can see I've already set one up here in the uh, left menu here. On most pages in Pipeline, you'll see your shortcuts in the left menu. And if you add an emails this week shortcut, you can quickly access those transactions that received emails this week. You also have the ability to track down transactions by their messages. Let's say this morning you sent a message out, you remember that it was some request to title asking for a receipt, but you don't remember exactly what transaction you were working on and you need to get back to it. From the upper left corner of any page in Pipeline, you can click the Power Search box and select the Note option here. Note gives you the ability to search transactions by text within notes or emails on the transaction. So if you remember that the, say, subject of the email was request to title, you can search request to title and get a list of transactions with emails that include that text. You could do the same thing. Say you remember that the word receipt was in the message. You can search by the word receipt here. And that will pull that transaction right up. Now, when you're on the transaction, you have a quick and easy way to find those emails. On this transaction, there's only one message, so we can quickly get to it. There's that receipt email. But most of you have many emails here down below, and it's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. So if you'd like to find a message real quickly, in the upper right corner of the notes and sent emails area, you can click search notes and just type the word receipt and you'll see pipeline will automatically highlight it there down below and you've tracked down your message. So last but not least, let's say we're using our emails this week shortcut and we see that we've received a message on a transaction. Let's go into this fifth lane transaction here. So here I'm looking at this recent email from Mark and I can see Mark's all done with the listing agreement doc. And if I want to, I can quickly reply to that message just by selecting the reply button out to the right of the email. Then Python will automatically add Mark as a recipient, including the thread down below here. And I can just send out a quick message to Mark. And that's it. That is it for Did You Know Messaging Edition in Pipeline. I hope you learned some new tips and tricks there.